Good morning guys and welcome to our third and final day here at the Nürburgring and again at nine o'clock dead on the dead on the dot we've woken up to a massive race going on this pretty pretty loud today um, but what I'm looking at right now um, is quite a few BMW M4s and M2s check this out all of those cars are M4s and M3s those black cars are M3s and a bunch of M2s up there and then mini mini go-karts uh, down there but wow it's a pretty cool sight to wake up to in the morning the race is going on over there and today being our final day is going to be spent grabbing breakfast checking out of the hotel room we need to leave the Nürburgring at about 11 a.m. today to make sure that we get back to Calais at the right time um, so we've got probably about an hour to play with we're gonna go and say goodbye to Rentec until next tire squirrel there um, yeah I will be coming back here probably in a couple of months or so which I'm looking forward to uh, but I'll leave that a bit of a mystery and then we're gonna go and try and find some cool driving roads for about an hour try and get some more exterior shots of my car maybe stick a GoPro to the exhaust and then get on our way back to Calais back to London I'm driving to Dub Customs fingers crossed you guys get to hear a little bit more of the exhaust today because I'm doing my first reaction first drive the drive of the Nürburgring and all of these videos that are going to be going live next week hopefully a little bit better edited than my vlogs I kind of want to leave it a little bit of a secret as to what my car actually sounds like so I'm leaving in a bit of a teaser clip per vlog so you guys get to hear just a little bit of what my car sounds but I have to say in person it sounds absolutely phenomenal videos obviously will never do it justice so I will just have to make sure that I bring it to a lot of events into London so as many of you guys can hear it as possible but let's go and grab some breakfast um, I'm not gonna film it this time because you saw it yesterday. Well, here goes nothing. Haha, <laughs> started in comfort mode. Comfort mode, we have distinguished, is pretty much the same, slight, it's slightly louder than sports mode stock. So, I mean, yeah, I'm not sure if it's cold start that it ever will start in race or sport plus with the valves open. Um, but yeah. I wondered whether it was going to be loud or not, and it was relatively tame for the Rentec, uh, for the Rentec pipes that we were hearing yesterday. So let's get out of here, go and find some cool roads. <laughs> they didn't even say hello. Didn't even say hello. They just knew what we were going to ask. So this is the the famous road. I might do a blast down it. I might do a blast, uh, but this is. Famous Nürburgring. Ooh. Like with most of the countryside in Germany, we have come across this road. One that we need to film on. <laughs> Look how incredible that looks. We got so excited about getting back onto the Autobahn and putting this car to the test. And it's like this. We have got a lane closure and a traffic jam. I think there's another lane closure coming up here. I think it's three lanes on the autobahn going into one, which is not ideal. The AMG is plodding along nicely. <clears throat> and I thought, as we've seen for the first time signs for Calais, why not talk about the genius that is Rentec with their downpipes and 200 cell sports cats. I know that I've only just teased a little bit of that sound, but in terms of cruising on the motorway, hasn't it been like the ultimate dream? Like that we're just we're just cruising along, there really isn't an intrusive exhaust noise. But if I wanted to flick the switch and turn the valves on, then it just becomes a completely different animal. So I'm gonna put my foot down now. Valves on now. Valves back on. 
unbelievable. We got a baby blue Ford Focus RS. I think this is off from the Nurburgring. It is, it is, it's coming. <laughs> that was the one that we saw yesterday at Nurburgring. It looks so cool. <laughs> That looks so good in the blue as well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was going to hurry it past him. We have hit Calais, and for some reason there is traffic and lane closures everywhere, but it doesn't seem like it's affecting us. For some reason, we've just picked the right lanes to be in, like now, and we are sailing through. We are an hour and 10 minutes too early before our check-in, which fingers crossed there isn't a queue because it's only 10 past three. We we're on our reserve fuel. We left with three quarters of a tank. We left the Nürburgring with three quarters of a tank and now we need fuel, but we haven't stopped at all. That Ford Focus RS must have, uh, must have refueled. But here we go. We're pulling into the Euro Tunnel at Calais. I cannot wait for food. I'm absolutely starving, but it's been a pretty easy drive. Um, and I'm excited to get back home now. First stop is Dub Customs. I need to drop this car off at Dub Customs because sadly, this is the last daily vlog of this little series before I go away to Portugal. Um, but then when I get back, then I'll work out what needs to be done. But uh, we also need to pull over and get our passports. Well, we thought we had a race against time. We had about six minutes to get a Burger King. We thought that we'd sacrifice the train for food because we're so hungry. We haven't stopped. We literally haven't stopped from the Nürburgring um, and had breakfast. Whoa, it's four o'clock now. Maths I can't even do at the moment. Um, but it turned out the gods were with us and our train has been delayed by 15 minutes. Oh, that would have been a disaster. So we managed to get food and make our train. So it has been a total success. The last time I was on the Euro Tunnel, I said, how many times can I film the Euro Tunnel? Um, so I'm not gonna film it anymore. Back in England. Ladies and gentlemen. Petrol, petrol, petrol. We have made it to Dub, and behind me is a car that is gonna be pretty special. Dub Customers have just launched a YouTube channel, and they are gonna be filming this. And I know that it is in black and white, guys, but when you see what this color is, it is absolutely stunning in the flesh, so I can't wait to see it fully finished. We've just arrived. I knew that there was a 488 here, but I had no idea what color it was gonna go because Dub don't like giving away secrets, but I've arrived. My car is just outside. Everyone loves the sound of it. The Aston Martin's still there, the baby blue one up there. Um, but as a whole, the trip has been absolutely phenomenal with Rentec. It is the end of the vlogs, unfortunately. Not the end of this vlog. I think that's Jordan and the AMG. I just heard an AMG, so. It is him. Boop, boop, boop. I thought it was you. I thought it was you. How you doing, man? Comfy? Oh, so comfy. <laughs> <laughs> this, is our, this is our taxi home. I'm leaving my AMG and Dub are dropping me back in the Bentley. I have made it home after an epic three days at the Nürburgring. I literally cannot explain what an awesome time it has been, but also how hard it has been as well to kind of, I suppose, hold back as much as possible of the footage that we've been able to get because next week, Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday, I'm going to be uploading all of the best bits from Rentec and from the Nürburgring. My first reactions, my first drive, 
going underneath the underpass, driving the Nürburgring for the first time, but then also experiencing a bunch of Rentec AMG cars. The videos to come are utterly insane, and I have to say, much better than the vlogs, but the vlogs have been behind the scenes, just going along with the daily process that I've been doing over the last three weeks, and sadly, it is coming to an end because I'm going on a family holiday to Portugal for seven days, but I'm taking this camera, and hopefully I'm gonna be able to capture what I get up to on holiday um, as well. Fingers crossed I get to see some cool cars, and who knows, but I'm just gonna make one video from Portugal. Make sure that you are subscribed to stay tuned and watch first all of the Rentec stuff that happens as I upload it to Supercars of London because honestly guys, my car is an absolute animal and I just want to share it with you guys as much as possible. I need to bring it to London and I need to just bring it to as many events as possible so all of you guys can hear it in person. And do you know what? I wanna bring back the reaction videos because now this car has got so much power and performance, so much more that you're gonna see um, with all of the Rentec videos coming soon uh, that it is a totally different beast an absolutely totally different beast and I'm gonna be doing a new review on my car now that it has over 600 brake horsepower it is totally mind-blowing all of the videos coming with Rentec will give you all of the details and all of the information and statistics and performance that you probably want to know about my car as well as the overall sound difference because it is unbelievable so guys that is it when I get back from Portugal I am going to be jumping back into the daily videos and I'll explain a lot more about that as and when that happens but for now huge thank you to you guys please give it a thumbs up your support is always incredible i love you guys and i will see you very very soon in fact i will see you on sunday for the grand unveiling of my rentec r1 amg gts for my first drive thanks for watching guys you're awesome <laughs> <laughs>